Beruchim Haboim, welcome everyone. We're about to begin Be'ezras Hashem together on Daf Samech Tes Amid Aleph, eight lines from the bottom. The Gemara had previously brought a machloikis between the Rabbonin and Munbaz at what, at is what constitutes a shoigeg on Shabbos. Munbaz says you can have yediya about the Avera, about the Molacha. You can have a yediya even that indeed it's Chayiv Kores, but you don't know that it's Chayiv a carbon for somebody who's Bishoigig. That constitutes a Shgoga, a Shoigig according to Munbaz. However, the Chacham argue and say no, it has to be a Shgoga in the Avera itself. Machloik is between Reish Lokish and Rabbi Yochanan. Reish Laki says it means that you don't know about the Avera, the Lav, and you also don't know that you're Chayiv Karis. Whereas Rabbi Yochanan says, no, you can know indeed that this is a Malacha, you just do not know that you're Chayiv Karis. Says the Gemara now to discuss this Shita. Omar Abaye Hakol Moidim Bishwas Bitui She'ein Chayov Nalea Korbin Abayi says that everybody agrees that when it comes to a shuas bitui, a shuas bitui is a shua that is chayiv a korban chatos. For example, a person says that I didn't eat. He makes a shua that he did not eat and he ate. Or he makes a shua, I will eat. And indeed he doesn't eat. That person is chayev a korban shvuas bitui. A korban chat is for a shvuas bitui. The Gemara says, according to Abaye, everybody agrees that over here you have to have the shgoga in that korban itself. That means to say that you're not aware in the lav, in the avera of the type of shvua that you're taking, in that situation, Everybody agrees that you're going to be chayev a korban chatos. You need to then have that shgoga. In other words, when a person makes a shua, for example, and he says that he will eat, and then he forgets that he made the shua that he will eat, and then he did, then he go ahead and he did not eat. That person is chayev a korban shuas for a shuas bitui, and here. Because he didn't know that he took the shvua, everybody agrees that's the type of shkoga that's mechayiv the korban. Says the Gemara, Hakol Moidim Man. Who is this referring to? That Hakol, everybody agrees. Indeed, if it's referring to Moonbaz, well, Moonbaz says that when it comes to other things, his shita is that so long as you are shoigig in the korban, that's called the shoigeg. So certainly over here it would be the same. So not, it's certainly not referring to Moonbaz. Says Gemara Rabbi Yoichanon, in the Machlok is in Reish Lokish and Rabbi Yoichanon, where Rabbi Yoichanon said, Lafidah Chachamim, you only have to have a shoigeg in that you don't know that it's kares, but you can have a yedia in the Avera itself. Even Rabbi Yoichanon says, Abai agrees over here by Korban Shuaz Bitui, that you are going to have, have shoigeg in the Avera itself in the Shvua. Says the Gemara Pshito, Ki Omar Rabbi Yoichan, because when did Rabbi Yoichan say that you can have a Yediya so long as you don't know that you're going to be Chayiv Kores? That's when there is Kores. Hecha di'ika Kores. Ava hacha deleke Kores loy. But over here by the Shvua's Bitu, there's no such thing as Kores. And since there's no Kores, what are you left with? Certainly Rabbi Yoichan would agree that over here you have to have a Shoigeg in the Avera itself. Says Gemara, no. Salka I mean, I might have thought to say the following. Since over here it's not the typical carbon that comes with Kares. In other words, it's not the Shoigeg of a Kares that's Chayi the carbon Chatos. It's unusual in that respect. So maybe Rabbi Yochan would agree, would, would, would say rather over here that it's enough to have a Yediya in the carbon. Even though normally, of course, that's Mumbaz is Shita, and the Chum argue on this, but over here it's different, says the Gemara, to explain. All the other Korbonois, a Korban Chatas, is because the Mezid is Chayev Kores, 
over here by the Shua's B2, he doesn't have Kares. And therefore, maybe Rabbi Yechim would say over here, it's enough to be shogging in the carbon. Kamash Malan, that even Rabbi Yechim would be moid that you have to have a shogig in the Avera itself. Ask the Gemara Meisve from the following Braiso. Ezu Shigiga Shvuas Bitui Lisha the Bryce asked, what would be a case of Shvuas Bitui on the Ovar? That he says, for example, in the past tense, he said he made a Shvuah that he ate. And indeed, he didn't eat. If he knows that he indeed ate and he made the Shvuah he didn't eat, so such a person then, when he goes ahead and eats, that's not a Shvuas Bitui. That's not going to Mechaev a carbon. What's going to Mechaev a carbon in that situation? Says the Gemara, Shi'im Omar Yodea Anisha Shvua Zu Asura. If he says, This Shua I know is Asur, Aval any Yodeim Chayav and Allah Korban or Chayav. I don't know whether it's Chayav a Korban or not. So therefore, that sounds to be a Kash on what we just said. That here, Rabbi Yechanan Lachar would say that it's enough to be shugging the Korban, like this Bryce is saying. And therefore, you don't have to then say it's going to be a shoigig in the Avera itself. It's enough to say it's a shoigig whether you're chayiv a korban or not. So it's a kasha. Says the Gemara, no homani munbazi. It's not a kasha. This is the sheet of munbaz, this b'raisa. And therefore, indeed, Abai still stands by saying that Rabbi Yoichan would agree over here by Shua's bitui. Even Rabbi Yoichan agrees with Reish Lokish that there's a shoigig in the Avera itself. Says the Gemara after the parentheses. V'omar Abaye. Abaye has another statement. Hakol moidim betrumo. Shein chayav in alech choymesh. Ashi yish goig belav shebo. In regards to truma, if a person chalila eats truma b'mezid, he's chayiv misa bidei shomayim. But if he eats truma b'shoigeg, so he not only has to then give back the truma, he has to add a choymesh, a fifth. So, Says Abaye, everybody agrees by Truma that in order to then be chayiv the choymesh, the additional fifth, it has to be a situation when he knows, rather he's b'shoigeg, in the fact that what he's eating, he thinks, is not Truma. And then he finds out afterwards, b'shoigeg, he ate Truma. Then he goes and adds a choymesh. Ask the Gemara, Hakol Moidim Man. Who is it referring to that everybody agrees? Says the Gemara, Rabbi Yochanan, the Shita Rabbi Yochanan in the Chachamim, that said, again, previously, that the Chacham require that indeed you might have an idea that you know what you're doing is indeed av- an Avera, but you don't know that it's Chayiv Kares. But over here, says Abai, even Rabbi Yochanan would agree that you need to have a Yedi in the Avera, in this case, thinking that what you're eating is not truma, it's chulin. Ask the Gemara Pshito. That's straightforward. Ki Omar Rabbi Yechen. When did Rabbi Yechen say his din again? Like we saw earlier. When did he say his din is when there's such a thing as something that's chayiv kares. So the fact that he doesn't have a yedi in the kares is his shoigeg. But over here it's not like that. Says the Gemara. Ki Omar Rabbi Yechen hecha di ike kares. Hecha de leke kares loy. But when there's no kares like over here in truma, then he would not say that it's enough to have a yedia in the Avera and a Shoigeg in the Kares, because there's no Kares here. Certainly, certainly over here, you'd have to agree that you have to have a Shoigeg in the Avera. In this case, not knowing that it's Truma. Says the Gemara, Ma'u Deseima, Misa B'makom Kares Oimedes. I might think to say that over here, just like Kares is enough of a Shoigeg for Rabbi Yechenon, even though he has Yedi in the Avera, he knows what he, in this case, he would be eating Truma, but he doesn't know that it's Chai Misi B'day Shomayim. So then Rabbi Yechen would say that's going to be somebody who indeed <clears throat> would be Chayiv, a Choymesh. Because it's enough to say that's considered to be a Shoigig. But, but says the Gemara, Maud is a Misi B'mokom Kores or Medes. Over here, this is like Kores, Misi B'day Shomayim. The chishogog b'misa nami lechayiv, and therefore, since he's shogig in the fact that he's chayiv misa b'day shemayiv, he would do it b'mezid is enough to be his shogig. Kamash malan says Abai that even 
even in this case, he would agree, Rabbi Yochanan, that the shoygi has to be in the Avera itself, in this case, not knowing that it is truma, that it's chulin, he thinks. <clears throat> Rava Omar, Rava argues on Abai and he says, Misa b'mokam kores oimedes v'choymesh b'mokam kor ben koi. Rava says, no, that indeed, just like we thought in the Havim, according to Abaye, that's what Rava says is true. That Rabbi Yochanan would agree over here that's enough to have the Shoigeg, not in the Avera, but even in the Mise B'day Shomayim, just like by Kores. In the same way that you have a Yediyah, that you're doing the Avera, but you're Shoigeg in Kores, so too over here. You have a Yediyah that you're eating Truma, but you're Shoigeg in that Tchai Mise B'day Shomayim. Rabbi Yochanan would say that's enough of a shoygi to be chayiv the choymish. Says the Gemara Vaiter, Omar Avhuna Hayamahalech Bamidbar. If a person is traveling in the desert, Vein Yodea Eimosai Shabbos, and he's in the middle of the desert, he doesn't know when is Shabbos, when he should go ahead and be shoymer the Shabbos. He lost track of the days. Says. He should count six days, and on the seventh day he should rest. He should be shoyvesh the Shabbos. Chiyabarav argues and says no. He said if we first shoymer the Shabbos and then count another six days. But my commitment, what is the machloikis? Whether you go ahead and count six days and then shomer the seventh day, or you're shomer the first day and you count six subsequent days. Says the Gemara, <clears throat> the following machloikis, Mar sover ki shel oilam, u mar sover ki odam harishon. The one who says that you count six days on the seventh day, you go ahead and be shomer the Shabbos, that's like the way HaKadosh Baruch created the world. On six days he did molacha, on six days he created the world on the seventh day, he was Shovas. So too, count six days on the seventh day, you'll rest. Whereas the other man, the says, just like Adam HaRishon, Adam HaRishon was created, and immediately, meaning the next day, he was created on Erev the next day he was Shovas, then you count another six days. If a person is traveling on the way, and he doesn't know when is Shabbos, says the Bryce, he should be Shoymer one day for six. Doesn't this imply that he counts six days and he's Shoymer the seventh? Says It means, no, that indeed he is Shoymer the first day and he counts six days. Yehochi asked the Gemara, if that's the case, Mishamir Yom Echad Lishisho. Why does it say, Mishamir Yom Echad Lishisho? Mishamir Yom Echad Umay Neshisho Mi Boile. It should say instead that he is Mishamir one day and he counts six days. And that would then be more clearly stating your position of Shamir the first day and counting six days. The Oiden further. <coughs> Tanya. It says in a bright, the person is traveling on the road, or in the desert, he doesn't know when it's Shabbos. Here it clearly states, he counts six days, and on the seventh day, he is Shovas. Says the Gemara, Tiyufta de Rav Chia Barav, Tiyufta indeed, this is a refutation on the Shita Rav Chia Barav who said that you are Shomer the first day and count then the next six days. Says the Gemara, Vaiter Amar Rove, Bekol Yoim, Vayoim Oise Loi Kidei, Parna Sosoi. Bar Mehu Yoima. Every day, he says, one should then make Parnasa to be able to then sustain himself. With the exception of that day, that day that he's being Shomer as Shabbos, ask the Gemar, Vahu Yoimo Limois. Then on that day when he's not going to make Parnasa to sustain himself, he's going to then die. Says the Gemar, No, the Ovid Me'es Moshte Parnasois. He makes the day before double. He works twice as much to make Parnasa for that day and the next day. 
Frank the Gemara, Vidilma Be'esmo Shabbos Haivoy. But maybe that day before was indeed Shabbos, in which case he'll be Mechalo Shabbos because he's making more than the needed amount. Because Pikuach Nefesh, so then the amount that he needs for Parnasa that day is sufficient. That's considered to be Mutter. But to make double for the next day, that will be Chilun Shabbos. Ela kol yoyim va yoyim oisa loy parnasosoy afilu hahu yoyim. Rather, you have to say that every single day, including that day that he's shoyves, he's going to make parnasa for himself. Ve'ahu yoyim b'may min karlei. Ask the Gemara if so, if he's making parnasa every single day, including the day of Shabbos, the day that he's commemorating Shabbos. Then how are you going to then distinguish that day of Shabbos that he's commemorating? From all other days, says the Gemara, When he makes Kiddush and Havdalah, it'll be a Zecher le Shabbos. Says the Gemara, Vaiter Omar Rava im haya makir mixas hayoim, sheyatsa boy, oisem malacha kolayom kuloi. If a person recognizes, he can count that the, the week before he remembers leaving on a certain day, then that day. Eight days later, he can do malacha because certainly, right, he didn't leave on Shabbos. So therefore, eight days later is the same day that he left where he can do malacha. Pshita asked the Gemara, that's Poshit. Mao the same, what might I have thought? Kivon the Shabbos nofik, since he did not go out certainly on the day of Shabbos when he originally left. On his journey, also on erev Shabbos he did not go out because that wouldn't be covered the Shabbos. Like Chazal tell us another place, Elion Novi cannot come and make the besura on erev Shabbos because everybody's dealing with covered Shabbos and preparation for Shabbos. So he also would not leave on erev Shabbos either. And therefore, if he goes out on Yom Chamishi, therefore he can also do Malacha two days, the day before and that day. So therefore, I might say that he can do two days of Malacha since he didn't leave on Shabbos and he also did not leave on Erev Shabbos. Komash Malon, Zimnin de Meshkach Shairosa, Umakre Vinofik. Sometimes maybe a caravan would have left. In other words, he needed to then leave. And therefore, he would leave on an Arab Shabbos. So therefore, he cannot go ahead and do Malacha in addition to the day that he left because perhaps he did leave on an Arab Shabbos. The Gemara now quotes our Mishnah. The first case in the Mishnah was again that he know, doesn't know the essence of Shabbos. To which the din is that he's chayi ve korban chatos. For all of the Shabbosos, no matter how many Malachos he performs, he's going to go ahead and be chay of one Korban Chatos. The second case, however, in the Mishnah, is that he, know, doesn't, he does know the essence of Shabbos. He doesn't know that today is Shabbos. Whereby he's going to be chay for each and every Shabbos that he transgresses. Whereby he'll be chay of a Korban Chatos separately for each Shabbos. Ask the Gemara, Menahani Mili, from where do we know these words, that, this distinction from being chay of one Korban Chatos? Versus being chayiv for every single Shabbos is a separate korban chatos. There are two different psukim. The shamu v'neisela Shabbos is one pasuk. V'ksiv es Shabbosai tish moiru. So he explains. Ha'ketzad. The shamu v'neisela Shabbos implies shmira achas le Shabbos is harbe. One shmira for many Shabbosos. And therefore, he'll be chayiv one korban chatos. Ve'es shabsoi sai tishmoiru implies shmira achad the kol shabbos ve'shabbos implies that there's one shmira for all each and every shabbos, and therefore he's going to chayiv a separate korban chatos for each and every shabbos. So therefore, Chazal saw these two pesukim and then made the distinction between these two different cases. Again, the first case being chayiv a korban chatos. For all of the Shabbosos, as in Michalil, because he knows, he doesn't know even the Iker Shabbos. Or in the second case, because he knows the Iker Shabbos, he doesn't know that today is Shabbos, each time he doesn't know that the day is Shabbos, is going to be a separate Korban Chatos. Maski, Philo Rav Nachim Bar Yitzchok, Ad Rabbo, 
Ifcha mistaber. On the contrary, the opposite is mistaber. In other words, the way you're learning the psukim is mashma the opposite. But in terms of the outcome, it's the same outcome. As follows. Vishom v'neisaz ha-shabos. Shmira achas lekol shabbos v'shabbos. That implies that it's one shmira for each and every shabbos. Whereby a person will be chayiv a korban chatas for each and every shabbos. Veshab soisai tish moiru and my shabbos sois in plural. You shall guard. Shmira achas le shabbos sois harbi. One shmira for all the shabbos implying that a person doesn't know the essence of Shabbos, will be high of one carbon chatos.